Here's an interesting concept. We're looking at a layout of cards, and you want to find out what the focus of the reading is. In other words, we're talking about the next year. So we ended up, there was six clubs, six hearts, six spades. I mean, five hearts, six spades, and seven diamonds. So if everything was totally balanced uh, in a 24-card setup, you should have six cards of each one, six hearts, six diamonds, six clubs, six spades. Now, over here we have a little imbalance, which, which shows the focus. Uh, seven is diamonds, which is personal money, and uh, hearts, which is not so much, a little less than average, so there won't be much focus on emotions, but a lot on personal finances and an equal amount on clubs, which is worker business, and an equal amount on spades, which is worries and concerns. So now we look at the layout. So I, I already counted up six clubs, five hearts, six spades, and seven diamonds. And now we'll look at a, a few other things, just for interest's sake. Here's two kings each side of each other, legal, or a, or a court matter or some dealing with the police or fire that works out very beneficial or, or successfully, whichever way somebody wants to look at it. Uh, a family or personal news about an adult or middle-aged man or male or whatever, and that's in one day, week, or month. Uh, some obstacle, concern, or unfriendly person or some drastic threat or problem concerning a young male. So there can be an incident with a young male. There's a, a, a king under it, and it's a red king. So there's a black card to the right, there's a black card to the left. You gotta really watch this a little bit, but I hope this doesn't involve the legal matter. You see the, the two hearts, the two kings there. Uh, you have to interwove in some of the the factors in a in a reading, uh, some gossip or slander concerning a, a dark haired or adult or older male. Uh, red card below it, red card below it, red card to the side. It'll work out okay. It may have something to do with this threat. Who knows? Look at look at that. There's the black card on the side, but all these red cards are a little bit of a savior. Uh, two queens alongside of each other in the first, second, third, fourth spot, four days, weeks, or months. Uh, the, the friendship seems to be pretty pleasant. There's red cards below it. Uh, there may be some gossip involved in it. You're interwoven with this a little bit right there, but basically there's two red cards. Uh, getting some kind of a, a small amount of money, a gift or a payment, in one, two, three, four, five days. It's in the fifth, uh, fifth spot of two cards. Five days, weeks, or months, or within five months, anyway, which somebody looks at it. In the, in the sixth spot, we get this legal or, or court or uh, dealing with a police, uh, and then for sure seeing some uh, adult or older male, something working out uh, successful or advantageous, whichever way. Uh, in the seventh spot, some extra money coming in. There's a change in plans. You see the two sevens, a change in personal plans. Extra money coming in. I guess that's always good. This is a gift or, or whatever of extra money. We'll see what happens in seven days, weeks, or months, because it's in the seventh spot. Now, in the eighth spot, uh, something you want concerning a young male or a March or a Pisces, depending on if you're reading it astrologically. Uh, there's a red card below to something you want. Uh, a dark card above, it's menza menza, okay? But it, you, it's something you want, so that's not too much of a problem. And the ninth spot, a change in times. It's kind of like a neutral change in times. I was saying there's, there's one dark, one red card. If it was two reds, it'd be very positive, and the two blacks, not so good. <laughs> 
you know, then we look at the 10 spot, because this is the 10 spot of our layout right here, 10 days, weeks, or months. Again, the legal uh, police thing. Uh, there's also some contact with a couple. Uh, all working out good. There's a red card ab above and below and to the side. Okay, it looks okay. Over here, there's some kind of detachment or problem with a female. Uh, some some kind of a change in plans that seem neutral, but it winds up to be blocked. Remember, seven's a blockage card. Uh, in the, uh, and this is in 11 days, weeks, or months. Remember, this is one of our last. You go 4, 8, 9, 10, 11 days, weeks, or months. And in the 12th spot, uh, there's some kind of illness going on, a change in plans. It doesn't uh, affect you a lot because there's red card above and to the side. And over here, it's kind of leaving your troubles behind you. So uh, this is the way we can evaluate. In other words, when you look at diamonds, clubs, spades, and hearts, it gives you the focus of the next year. This reading is to happen in a year or less. And you, the focus of this reading, because of the way it, it's laid out, uh, the way it came out, uh, is diamonds are pr predominant, which is personal money. And so are spades. Spades are a little bit, the spades and clubs are a little higher and, and the heart's not as much. So the focus is more on business, uh, money, and and uh, and concerns about those, but not so much about the person paying attention to their personal life. So it's in it, besides the, the different, uh, what I call events, see, all this reading is about What's to be? What's going to happen? You're predicting what's going to be uh, happening to and around a person. Now, some of the uh, older people, they live vicariously through their children, so sometimes their reading is really about their children, even though you're intended to read them. What's on their mind is their, their family, so uh, always keep that in mind. You know, uh, people are, some people are very empathic, uh, they live a life, uh, an older female's worried about her daughter, her daughter's wedding, her daughter's marriage. And even though it comes out, it looks like her, it's all she thinks about is what's happening with her family, which is commendable, but uh, you have to be aware of this. It, it's something that uh, happens when you do a reading. But this is how you lay out the cards. You shuffle them. The card after the seven is the card you start and I, I repeat things to, so that people learn them, and you put on the bottom, uh, and you fill up the bottom card, which is the first card, and then on, after you fill it up, which may take two or three different shufflings of the cards and starting fresh, then you can put the card down in, in the second spot, which is this. This is the second spot. E even the sevens you could put down. See, there's a seven near, a seven near. So the seven, on, after you fill up the first row, the sevens may, may go down with the, like the rest of the cards. They become a, a neutral card. They're only a special indicated card when you're first filling up the initial uh, uh, first boxes. And uh, remember this, and go back to my other films. I have a lot of films on cards. I always tell you what I think and give you philosophy uh, indications, way to look at the deck. Uh, a deck has a personality. If you look at the deck and you see the hearts, the diamonds, the spades, the clubs, and the interaction between the cards, when I, when I see cards, it's weaving a story. And if something pops into my mind as I'm looking at the cards, if, if I, I picture a television set in my mind, I say there's something about a television. If I picture a brown dog, I say brown dog. Even if it doesn't make sense, it will make sense. Trust yourself. And if you're wrong, the sun will still come up tomorrow.